and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. That's right, Bob. Oh, and our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to show you how to use resistance bands, the best beginner guide by Bob and Brad, get fit and look great. Absolutely, Bob. Bob, these fitness bands, excellent home fitness that gets you stronger, you're going to look better, you're going to have better balance, better posture. I can't say enough about them. This is all I use now with the exception of body weight. Yeah, and if you want some evidence, uh, just go to Tom Brady, who actually, as you know, the MVP winner of the Super Bowl, again, proves he, this is how he does his strengthening right. program. This is, he doesn't use weights. Right. When you go into the TB12 uh, fitness clubs that he has, there's no sound of weight clanking, they say. In, in it's book. all all bands. Everyone's doing bands in there, and these are high level people. But they, we know as therapists, it works for all levels. Should we talk about the two options here? We're going to well, show. Well, Bob, David. we've got one business, some business. Oh yeah! By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. We're always giving something away. This is the one day. We set up for the next video giveaway, so yeah, it'll so be we, started tomorrow. Yeah, just look tomorrow. And you'll yeah, see. look tomorrow. Or you can, if you join us on Facebook, oh. it'll always be pinned to the top of the page top to contest. The Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. And yes, we are in podcast now. That's Who isn't? Right. Who isn't? <laughs> I think my 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 land uh, not my landlord. Your landlord? My, yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> the landlord here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, Bob, let's carry on with the, the bandage. So, if uh, you're a beginner and you, you want to start doing this because you don't want to go out and buy a bunch of weights, you want to exercise at home, the, like, again, these are just an outstanding option. Uh, I'm going to show you, or we're going to show you two different types of bandings. Uh, the loop bands, which I've just started using in the last six months. I really like them. And, of course, the traditional uh, bands that look like this. Typically, when you buy a set online or wherever you get them, they come in sets. Uh, we have sets that we really like. We have our name on them. Uh, but they're they're very consistent with other um, bands. And these come with the handles, too. Yeah, we got five loops. The very strong one down to the, the lighter one. Uh, the, there's handles that come with the loops. Now, with the bands, there's five. This is real common that you'll get five bands. Uh, there's a little bit different a variety of clips. Um, ours has a steel ring here and a nice carabiner steel uh, clip. It and I will put this handle up against any handle. Yeah. This is a really yeah. nice handle. Yeah. You can you could you yeah. can get some really cheapies. Yeah. That, and what these these are nice handles. Yeah, these are nice. We wouldn't have junk. Uh, there's ankle straps that come. And we'll show yeah, you like how you use that. Ankle cuffs. Now yeah. with uh, the band, you're probably you're not going to have a way convenient way to put the band to the wall. So what we're going to give you, or what they oftentimes give you, is one of these is called a door anchor. I call it the door anchor. There's a spongy thing here. You open the door and they'll show you how to do this. Right. Uh, you put this in the door and close it. And then you have a loop so that you can anchor your band to. Uh, we you don't have make... a door handle, a door handy. So we're going to use our wall anchors. Uh, and you can see the exercise very well. The wall anchors, by the way, they work very well. That's why we made them. Uh, but this works fine on the doors while you can do it different you make levels. Sure the door is probably locked or nobody's going to be using it when you're going through it. So yeah, because if you're doing it, someone comes in from the other way and opens a door, then this will come snapping at you. Yeah. So be so. careful with that. All right, All right. Bob. Any more? No. We got seven different exercises. It's going to show you a relatively complete body workout throughout this. I've got my workout clothes on, Brad. Yeah, that's right. You know, and that's the beauty of these. You can do these without workout clothes. Yeah, and you can do these at the office. And this is a great one to do at the office. Is actually one where you work on posture. So you can actually go in different directions here. Um, I like to do this where I actually externally rotate. And I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together at the same time. Right here. Yeah. yeah. Now, he's going to do that. You can do it at different levels. Yep. You can put it, you know, if you got the door, you can put it at the top of the door, move it down halfway by, by the doorknob. You can put those around the doorknob, and that can be a good option, too. 
I'm going to get in here. Now, now this time I'm just doing a complete reverse. You know, I'm not going external rotation. Right. I'm just do, I'm going back like this. So you can do this with this with a loop, and you can go like this. Now, without going to the anchor, it's probably not as good, but it still gives you posture exercise. And I can go like this. Yeah, that's as another well. you could just sit right at your desk and do it. Yep, exactly. So. All right, well, I'm going to number two. Usually do 10 to 15 oh, wait, of these curls. to start with. Sorry. <laughs> um, All right, now I'm going to the lower anchor. Um, if you buy these anchors from us, on Amazon, you get three. If you buy them from our website, you get four. Right. We throw an extra one for the same price. Yeah, that's a good deal. Now, till Bob's going to show you how to do biceps with the anchor at that level. Um, I'll show you how to do it with the loops. Go ahead, Bob. Now, you can actually lie on the floor and do these, too. There's, oh. there's a lot of different ways to do them. That's um, I, I always do it lying on the if floor. If you want to do both arms at the same time, you can go ahead and work like that. What I like to do is I usually warm up doing them like this, and then I actually go to grabbing onto the two of them like this and, and work it a little harder. <laughs> Get the, the yep. power. And the other thing, you can double the resistance bands, right. do what Bob did, or just simply walk away from the wall. And that increases. Oh yeah! Uh, and the other thing is, you can add bands. Right. You can you can you can have three, four bands at the same time. Exactly, Bob. Uh, now, right. if you have the loop, the loops do come with handles, which is nice. You can stand like this and work your your bicep curls like this. You can do it, Bob did, uh, and do two. Oh yeah! <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious, and work that. And again, 10 to 15 reps of these is, is going to be good for the, the biceps. Okay. You're kind of ready for the next one too, Brad, aren't you? Squats. Yeah, you well, with that? there's two different ways with the bands. Go ahead. So squats, uh, you can do it like that. And, you know, it, it all depends on your comfort level, you know, how far you go down. But we always advise not to go down past a 90-degree bend in the knee. And I don't even know if I can... With this, oh, I guess oh there I you go, yeah, and, and work well. that. Now the advantage with the loop bands that I really like is you don't need handles, and this is very comfortable for me. Is that you wrap it up around like this, and and do, this is how I do my squats at home, um, and I like this. It just seems more comfortable, uh, but you know either way works. Yeah, well. it actually, and kind of frees up your hands to some extent. Yeah, I don't have to. I just right. keep it away from my neck. But the, the the brunt of the force is on my shoulders, and that's comfortable. And that's good exercise there, too. And then you got different band uh, widths to make it give you different resistance. Right. I, I, I don't think the, you can do that one, can I you? I can, too, Bob. I Didn't built really? myself up. Yeah, I couldn't do that at first. Oh, this is a monster. Yeah, this one is really a, a tough one. But, yeah. Oh, wow. I feel strong like bull. You are wow. strong like bull. I got to give you credit, Brad. So and that's now the, here, I'm going to work on sidestepping, Brad. And you said this works a lot better with shoes on, but it does, I don't have I shoes think, on today. But you don't have to. You don't have to. Nope. nope. You can go ahead and. So I'm working my way one way, and I work away way the other way. And you're working the hip abductors, the muscles on the side of the hip. Now and I'm working on my balance a little bit, too. Sure. This one you may look at and say, well, I don't know, it doesn't look like much of an exercise, but I think it's a great one as therapists. We know that these hip muscles are really important for your balance and your stability with walking. It's a um, real functional. Yeah. You know, and if you, you can, uh, actually with the bands, I like it because it works a little bit better for this one, but either way works good. But you can see how you can work at, you know, different speeds, a little faster if you feel comfortable. Again, with all these, take your time the first time you go through the exercise. Get used to working with the bands. After about five or ten times through it, you're going to feel comfortable with it. You'll have things memorized. And it's infinite how many exercises you can do. I mean, it just goes on and on and on because you're not limited by motions. You can go any direction. Exactly. Oh, so, the, the next one, we got to show you. How yeah, show one with the legs. Yeah, there. so there's little Velcro straps that go around your ankle. I've got one on already here. Um, we'll take the red band. And we'll connect this here. That works out well. Uh, around here and here. And if you want the booyah stick yeah. for a little balance or yeah. chair. Or chair, cane, stick. or maybe You may not need one if you're really a... Uh, good balance, well-balanced person. 
Now, here I'm going to work the adductors. So we're going to work the hip in four directions to be complete. This is a nice you know, growing muscles. And this, you know, I'm going to go over here to get it stronger. If that's too much, I'll get closer to the wall. Um, then I want to go 90 degrees, hip flexion. Now, all the exercises you do with bands, it's important that you uh, do meaningful movements. Don't just start flipping things around uh, crazily. Just be very good movement that is controlled. And again, 10 to 15 reps. Yeah, you're not getting much strengthening if you're just kicking it out there and going by momentum. Yeah. You, you need to build the muscle. Now, with this exercise, all four of these actually, make sure that this doesn't happen, that your body doesn't go with the leg. It stays up, tall, good posture. I like, again, how functional this one is. I mean, th oh, this yeah. one's really work on your balance. It's getting core. It's getting, you know, the back. Right. And it's oh. getting the abdomen. Yep. Now, yeah. this one, we don't yeah. want to do this. It's up tall. And that's why it's nice to have something to hold on to. But, you know, if you're really good balance, then, you know, you may go like this if you're advanced and you feel like sure. you're really, you know, if you're athletic. Um, then I do all four. Yeah, then back to the beginning. Sure. So that takes care of the hip and standing, and it gets your balance. It's a nice balance routine. So I'm not sure how you wanted this one done, Brad, overhead. Are you going to do? Ah, I'll show you. Th this okay. is one that... Uh, I don't know if you have something else, but this is uh, this one can be done up high, or you could put the anchor anywhere if you're using the door anywhere in the middle. Uh, but I'm gonna. Actually, you want to lower? Right? No, that's fine. So this is one I like this because it works the whole core in the front, and it'll put balance in as well. And what you have to do is uh, just come forward, tighten the stomach muscles, come forward over to the right so the band doesn't bump you in the head. That's the only reason you go to the right. Plus it works muscles on the right. Then the next time you go to the opposite side of the head. So it's just, yeah, so we're just bowing. And you know, this is more of a postural exercise to go a little further, more resistance and do 10 to 20 of these and you'll feel that core Working right Probably in get here. a little bit of lats too there, possibly. Yeah. You pull down. Yep. 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 Sure. Um, all right. And all right. the last one, we're on number seven already. Yeah. Should we? Uh, Which yeah, one do we want to use, Brad? Put that one in the middle. Okay. Is, you feel comfortable with that? Yep. That's perfect. Okay. Yep. Uh, the green is going to be a little strong, but that's okay. I think. Now, this is a, an aerobic exercise you can do with the bands, and this is uh, fun I, for indoor running, I call it. And if you have this, what you're going to do is hold like this, you're going to walk out, and we're just going to do some jogging with resistance on it. And that works pretty darn good. The loop bands actually are superior yeah, for this. Yeah, they are. But this, this is okay. If it, it, it'll get your heart rate up. And you'll get an exercise. If you're going to do it on a regular basis, I would use the loop bands. Because yeah. one thing, the, these are stronger. And, and you can actually get some pretty good resistance We're going to the higher ones. Yeah, as a matter of fact, just yesterday, I started with the red. Um, and then I went to the next one up. And then I went back to the red. I was doing interval training. Sure. And it was uh, good to get different uh, resistances for different workouts. So here, just go around your weight race. Yeah, you don't even have to hold on yeah. to it then. I held That's why dumbbells in my hands. Oh, did you really? Yep. Um, and then you can turn sideways. This is a big advantage to the loop versus the other bands, which now you're working your hips in a different direction. You make sure you go both directions. And you can even go backwards, get those quadriceps. And you can tell just by my, I'm starting to get short of breath because I'm starting to work. So I do interval training with this, although 30 seconds on. 30 seconds off, maybe switch to the higher band next time, go 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. It actually kind of supports you too, so it helps your balance oh, a little bit. You it know it I mean? is. Yeah, you think it would throw your balance off, and it might, if you have it too heavy, right. it might pull you that way, but uh, usually it kind of holds you. Yeah, you start out with the easy one, and you'll have you'll you'll feel comfortable with it. It's my it's my favorite indoor running because I, I don't like treadmill running. I don't like it either. Uh, I love to run outside though, um, so... Good option. And when it's 20 below like today, you know, it's not a great idea. <laughs> wow, that's a good beginner workout, Bob. All right. Remember, Brad and I can fix it about anything. Except for. A broken heart. That's right, Bob. And this will have well, nothing to do with We can work on it. heart fitness. Heart, yeah, there you go. Cardiac. Uh, cardiovascular. Uh, yeah. That'll be another chapter.